Bovine or TigerFitness.com, bro, 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 bro. Check it out. I've been getting more. I have. Let's see. I've been answering emails since 4 a.m. Trained a little bit, and I was down 300. I'm down 166 answerable emails, and I have a lot of questions in the queue right now. So I apologize, guys, for being behind on this. There's a lot of crap going on in my life, including a pregnant ass wife. Okay. <laughs> Okay, check it, check it, check, check, check it. This is from Chris. Hey Mark, you seem to have done everything, both good and bad, in your long career. I'm not sure what the bad stuff is, um, but it could do with xhamster.com and perhaps some uh, potential midget porn. Um, that would be awesome if you did a video on what to do when you fail on your diet. Mm. I have failed on my diet before. Not often, but I have. Miss your macros, give in to a bad meal, etc. Basically, what to do when what happened to Chris Jones happened. You know, it's his first prep, dude. Chris is so far out. Check it out. Chris, with any other trainer, wouldn't have started dieting till 16 to 20 weeks out. Chris is on point, dude. Don't hate on my man, Chris. Physiques of greatness, man. POG Army, TMW Army, MTS Militia. And, of course, Van Bra's legion of ancestral family members. <sighs> okay, what happened? I think, uh, think a lot of people must have experienced this. I personally feel like shit whenever I fall off the wagon. For me, this whole getting as jacked and ripped as possible thing is just a game. And I'm sure that's through for your, a lot of your other subscribers. Sorry for emailing again, but you're, I find your insights really helpful. Um, th those of you who email me, I, I apologize, man. I'm usually within 24 hours. I got shit in here two weeks old. And I actually have a lunch meeting today that I, I, I got. Luckily, he was able to still meet with me at business lunch. It just got buried in my emails. I mean, we've been growing phenomenally. Phenomenal. There I go again, saying phenomenal. Phenomenal this week. Um, this year so far, and uh, the volume of work on the back end combined with the consumer stuff combined with the business end, I'm not saying it's overwhelming, I'm just saying that especially once this baby's born next week, I need to find a new way to delegate time and resources within the company because I'm getting slammed, bro. Anyway, enough about me. Speaking of failing, what I'm doing now would cause a lot of people to fail. This is when people fail, when shit gets overwhelming. You're like, man, I can't, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to eat a cheeseburger, right? Here's my thing. You know, you set short and long-term goals and you hold yourself accountable for it. You know, you guys know my political opinions. A lot of you hate me for it. Um, but I'm a libertarian. I'm about personal responsibility. It's not anyone's fault when you fail on your diet. You failed on your diet because you failed up here. And you failed in here, in your heart. You failed to realize that it's your ass that wants to get in shape, all right? I don't give a shit if you're fat. I don't care if you're ugly. I don't care if you tip cows. Well, except that's the, the PETA people will get mad because you're, you're hurting an animal. First of all, don't give in. I know that's easier said than done, and I'm not going to pretend one bit to have an eating disorder. I have had um, bouts of eating disorder mentality after contests, binging till I threw up. Um, I have done that. But I'm not going to pretend to have... Here's the thing. I'm speaking as me. And you can use me as an example of someone to act as, except with my bad language and uh, my questionable humor. Or you can tell me to just go fuck myself. Uh, because I'm going to speak as the guy who was called the machine. Now let me tell you where that nickname come from. Came from. Let me tell you where that shit come from, dog. Alright, that shit came. I was getting ready for a show once and I was actually Derek, who worked for me, Derek Charleboy, who's still training. Check him out. His email, I believe, is Derek, a.k.a. Beast, D-E-R-E-K-A-K-A Beast, B-E-A-S-T, at Hotmail.com, if I'm not mistaken. Derek, if you're watching this, chime in. And I remember I was training, and I had a new kid, and the business was growing. I was traveling 300 days a year, and Derek's like, so what'd you fuck up on your diet? He expected it. I'm like, I fuck up on my diet. I had all my meals packed. I cooked in my hotel room. I even showed pictures of me cooking in the hotel room. He's like, damn, man, you're a machine. That's how the nickname came about. I didn't make it up. My boy Derek. Thank you, Derek. It's stuck. As well as, it's not a game! It's sticking right now. Um, which was made up, again, it's something I've said to Van, but the radio guys on ClickHop.com, they said, dude, you should use that at the end of our segment. And it, it, I like it. it. It kind of, life is not a game. Life is serious business, my real belief. So if you fall off the wagon, get the fuck back on. First of all, 
Don't fall off the wagon. Try your best not to. But if God forbid you give in to temptation, what? She tripped, fell, landed on your dick? If you fall into temptation, get back on the wagon. You know, and if you do, let's say you, you fuck it up like at 12 p.m., you know, the afternoon, you know, make the rest of the day as good as possible and come as close to your macros as possible. Um, eat less food throughout the rest of the day. Eat just enough. Maybe put a little protein shake in here and there. Try to guesstimate what the hell you did. So you come near your macros, but at the end of the day, if you fuck up, you fuck up. Just get back on the wagon. That doesn't mean starve yourself the next day. That means just get your head back in the game. Short, long-term goals, you know. That's what I tell my kids. That's what I tell myself. Cammy's goal is to be the best at soccer. I'm like, all right, well, you got to score a goal next game. And it's like, well, you got to score two goals. Well, we got to practice six days a week next week. Next time we practice, we do it for an hour and five minutes instead of an hour. Set those short and long-term goals. My long-term goal is not even being an IFBB pro. My long-term goal is to go until I'm my best ever. And honestly, I don't think that's going to stop the rest of my life. So I'm always setting that long-term goal. My short-term goal this year was to bring up my arms, which I did, and to put on a lot of fucking mass, which I did. Set short and long-term goals. If you fall off the wagon, okay, so you might have fucked up a short-term goal, which is eat good this week. That's great. Set a new short-term goal and get to a long-term goal. I'm getting pumped, man. I had a great leg day this week. This is some good MTS way. Always be closing. And for the Quaker people, these caramel rice cakes are amazing. Okay, here's the deal. It is just a game. But as in all areas of life, try, strive to be your best. If you get better incrementally every day of your life in every area, by the end, you will be a great person. Strive to do everything you do better every day of your life. Hop back on that damn wagon. Take the tampon out of your vagina. Lick it off. Throw it away. And get back on the damn wagon. Stop being a little bitch. Matt Ogus. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. You know what? Setting goals. Long, short-term goals. Reaching them. You know what? It's all part of who you are. It's who you are. It's serious. It's not a game. This is being shackled to ancient prison stations Risen from a spacious grip Not living as a slave to a force I hated Shameless artists and product placement Hundred cast of surveillance Running circles around these shapeless Saturated, overpopulated Purpose of sameness My interior is vacant Cause I dedicated my entire heart to 